Try. Triple digits? <laughs> Something for everybody. Uh, maybe something in the middle would be nice. Yeah. I think we'll get a couple of days like that. If you like it cool, you're going to like it in the short term. So you can save on your energy bill now. You know, open up the windows. Mm. And then we'll be running that air, I think, 24-7. Eventually, you'll see it in my seven-day forecast, Michael. So let's break it down. Time period. we got tonight, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. For tonight, dew points, refreshing. Another term, invigorating, delightful. Pleasant. Yeah, that continues through tomorrow. 49 degree dew point. This is the amount of moisture in the air. As that goes up, it's harder to keep cool. Perspiration doesn't evaporate. So when it hits 62, it's a bit humid. It's muggy. And, you know, when it gets to 67 or higher, almost oppressive. And yeah, those 70 degree dew points plus, they're coming. Heat indexes in the triple digit range, they're coming in the seven day forecast. So in the meantime, enjoy this. At least in the afternoon, very pleasant with the breeze, the sunshine, 71 degrees. Beautiful sky, 68 in Cortland, a little bit cooler there, a little cool to do some swimming perhaps, but it's very dry and that has a factor in our temperatures tonight. While we are in the 70s and feeling very pleasant, the dew points at 42, so we're going to crash temperature wise with this dry air. The wind will die down and the sky, well, it's going to stay just the way it is. We've got this area of high pressure building in looking ahead. I think we'll get a repeat performance with the sky wise for tomorrow. And then the next system starts to come in, but that won't be until Wednesday and the bulk of any rain from that probably coming towards Wednesday night. Expecting someone in by highway, by car, dry roads. If they're flying in, not a lot of problems from the major hubs. We're checking in with airport wide delays and there are none throughout any of the major hubs that Syracuse connects to in the Great Lakes and the Northeast. So here's what you can expect and what you need to know. For tomorrow, Tuesday, it's going to be chilly to start. We're talking 40s, low 40s for some of us. I think mid to upper 40s for Syracuse, but a warmer finish closing in on the 80 degree mark from where we should be this time of the year. Strong thunderstorms will develop. We'll talk about exactly when there for Wednesday for this weekend. If you like it hot and humid, as we just hinted at, you're going to love that period. So it's going to be good for, let's say, boating, uh, getting in the swimming pools. Hey, we're nearing 4th of July. And we've got two 4th of July really weekends as it's in the middle of a week. So a lot of celebrating with that heat. Well, maybe you're celebrating this quiet weather. Not a lot going on. Patchy Valley fog. Otherwise, we turn chilly after that chilly start. Mostly sunny skies quickly, rapidly warming us up. We'll have wind out of the east southeast shifting to the south southeast at about 5 to 10 with low humidity. Really flawless day again for tomorrow. Going into Wednesday, at least starting off with some partial sunshine, but here you see some showers already in western New York at 6 a.m. By late morning, we run a risk for a few passing showers. Some scattered thunderstorms developing late in the day on Wednesday. And then Wednesday night, the bulk of the rain, which could bring some heavy rainfall and the potential for some stronger, severe thunderstorms. So we'll watch that towards midweek. And we actually warm up and the humidity goes up behind this system. 47 for tonight. We definitely are feeling the effects of that high pressure with the clear skies, the calm conditions. It turns chilly. Expect patchy valley fog. Most of us don't see that. We should see another beautiful day. Mostly sunny skies for our Tuesday. Very pleasant with that low humidity and the light breeze out of the southeast. 79 for tomorrow. 77. Just a notch cooler, but more humid here on Wednesday as it becomes breezy and scattered thunderstorms develop. We'll find some morning showers on Thursday. Those taper off during the midday and early afternoon. Some late day sunshine. 80 degrees more humid. Mostly sunny on Friday, 85. Good pool days for the weekend. Just keep a sharp eye to the sky for that very isolated shower or thunderstorm. Most places stay dry right through the weekend. That 96 degree high temperature will have dew point temperatures in the mid 70s. Triple digit heat index for Sunday. Heat advisory heat warnings may be issued. A few showers and thunderstorms Monday, another day in the 90s. That makes it a heat wave. Back to you.